50 shades. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I'm so scared. <laughs> Welcome to another new Makeup Monday. This is my series I post every single Monday where I talk about new makeup, test new makeup, test a bunch of new products, or just talk about new makeup, like a will I buy it, an anti-haul. I love doing this series. This is so much fun. But for today's video, I'm gonna be testing out the new Fenty Beauty. This is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. Now, I have super, super dry skin, so I'm really intrigued as to how this is gonna work on my skin. I'm pretty sure that powder foundations are more suited for oily skin, but I was just intrigued by it, and I wanted to try it and see how it works on dry skin so we're gonna do that today before i get into it though i would love for you to give this video a thumbs up if you like my new makeup monday series i would also love for you to hit that subscribe button turn on the notification bell for videos monday wednesday friday at 6 p.m eastern time and i would also love for you to head over to my instagram follow me there show me some love there and yeah let's get into it okay so there's like a whole thing on how to use this and i definitely want to like make sure i'm doing this correctly so i'm gonna read off of fenty's website it claims to be a buildable light to full coverage for all long wear light as air crease resistant i'm also gonna do a wear test by the way i don't think i mentioned that in the intro but i always do a wear test on my foundation it says the award-winning foundation that forever changed the game now in a long wear light as air powder to deliver a light to full coverage and a non cakey soft matte finish in 50 shades for all it's fast flawless and easy I love that. I love the 50 shades. 50 shades. <laughs> I also love that it's fast because who doesn't want to do their makeup quickly? Long wear light is there, no flashback. I'm going to do the flash test also. Blur filter complex to deliver the ultimate blurred finish. Sweat, humidity, and crease resistant. Buildable light to full coverage formula that, that loves to be layered. Mm. Won't settle into fine lines, clog pores, or cake up. Reduces the appearance of shine. Chic portable powder compact fits in hand. I think it does come with a puff. I did open it to make sure it was my shade. By the way, I decided to self tan yesterday, which I'm kind of stupid because I think I bought my normal shade. So, oh well. Did you know Rihanna loves poreless, blurred looking skin but could never find the perfect powder to satisfy her needs? After three years of perfecting this formula, she developed the ultimate powder that makes skin look like skin, not cakey, and works on all skin types and tones. It's the perfect filter on the go and she always has it in her purse. Oh. That's nice. Oh, Fenty Beauty is 100% cruelty free, which is awesome. This is what the packaging looks like, by the way. It's very standard of her other packaging, in all honesty. I got the shade 150. Before applying the Pro Filter Soft Matte Power Foundation, be sure to moisturize skin with Fenty Skin. I have never tried Fenty Skin. So we're gonna prep our skin for powder foundation. I would recommend using your favorite moisturizer. Mine is the Milk Makeup Vegan Moisturizer. This is amazing if you have dry skin. It's very thick and it really seeps into your skin. Let that sit into my skin for a little bit and then I'll be right back. So it's been a little bit. I would recommend leaving it for as long as possible. To be honest, I just don't have the time. I want to do a wear test, so I want to get this done quickly. After moisturizing, apply your favorite Pro Filter Primer and let set for best results. I'm going to use the Touch of the Silk Canvas. This smooths out your face and prepares for foundation. It just, you know, kind of takes away all your pores, basically. I'm going to let that sit here for a little bit and then I'll be right back. Use the included sponge to build your desired coverage for flawless blurred finish. We recommend the Power Puff Setting Brush for light coverage. For me, it's a full covered apply using the kabuki buff foundation brush 115 actually i'm gonna go in with some concealer if you want to use any concealer or any cream products you need to do it before i actually have a little bit of rosacea some pimples so i'm gonna get rid of them with some of my tarte shape tape and i'm also just gonna put some under the eyes because I always want that. <laughs> and down the bridge of my nose. And I'm gonna be using my Juno & Co sponge. I'm gonna add a little bit more concealer just to this one little pimple scar. It's not really active anymore, but dude, I look much redder on camera for some reason. I just have a little rosacea. Let's see if this covers it. I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is use the included sponge on one half of my face and then use my favorite like kabuki brush on the other half. So this is what the packaging looks like. It just has her, of course, <laughs> signature Fenty Beauty little stamp in there and then we've lift it and we've got the sponge it's one of those standard sponges you get in like a compact from the drugstore let's see how it works I don't know I'm gonna do this half with this sponge I'm so scared I hope it's my right shade oh it matches my tan yay that actually does give really nice coverage I can tell you right now that I'm not gonna like using this little thing because it's really hard with my nails to get it right up in there let me tell you coverage i don't know if you guys can see already but coverage one of my nails is literally hanging by a thread i'm about to take them off because i'm gonna get them done and it's really hard to use a nail that's like half falling off so 
I'm trying to be very careful. This might actually work with my not self tan. <laughs> it's a little bit too light for my self tan, so I might have to drag it down my neck. I'm impressed with the coverage. This is really nice. I'm honestly shocked that it doesn't look cakey on me. Do I prefer a matte? Hell no, I prefer dewy foundations, but I just, I'm intrigued. Like this is, this looks really good. Like if you really want your makeup to stay in place all day, well, hopefully we'll see. We'll see with the wear test, but I think, dude, I just shook my hand and my nail. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's literally hanging by a thread. It's so gross. Anyway, I'm really, really impressed with this. I like it so far. Kind of sort of doesn't match my tan, but I'll fix that. For the other side, I'm going to be using the It Cosmetics Love is a Foundation Brush. This is a foundation brush, but it's like a kabuki style brush. It doesn't have any product on it right now, so I get to see exactly how it'll perform. I think I'm going to like using a brush more than that sponge thing. Holy crap. This is awesome. I love the brush side a lot more. It's a lot more smooth somehow and it just covered a lot more. So I'm just going to take some more and just put it in the areas where I have some redness. It honestly doesn't look cakey even though my skin is drier than the Sahara Desert. This, I think this is going to work really well. I can't wait to see how it wears. I can't wait to see how makeup looks over it. Okay, so this is what it looks like up close. No cakiness. It's really like nice coverage. It covers everything. I don't know. Like it looks really good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup off camera and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm actually really impressed with how everything applied over top, how it looks. It looks like a liquid foundation. It looks really good on my skin. I cannot wait to see how it wears. To be honest, right now my thoughts are this is amazing and I have dry skin. So I can't imagine how well it works for oily skin because it really is controlling the shine and all that. Everything looks really good. It gives a really good coverage. I'm impressed and I'm a little bit shocked that this worked. <laughs> this looks better than the Huda Beauty foundation stick that I recently reviewed, honestly. Like it looks, it doesn't look cakey. It doesn't like this, this is, this is awesome. I prefer a do, but like there are days where I want my foundation to last all day, which a matte foundation will probably last better on the skin than a dewy foundation. So it's great to have this option. I'm really impressed so far. I just need to get one that actually matches my neck when I'm self tanned. It's 5.07 now, no 5.08. So I will be back so you guys can see how it wore. All right, so it is now 11.14. Tried as long as I could, but I just really want to take this off and go to sleep. I'm pretty tired. But oh my God, I am so shocked at how good this foundation looks on me. Obviously, I changed into my glasses. Just right here is where it separates. I took my nails off, by the way, in case you didn't notice. It is a little, like you can see my pores, like right here where I have the most pores, a little bit, but it's really not that bad. This is what it looks like up close. You see my nose is not, it's not great because of my glasses probably, but even still, like, yeah, you see a little bit of dry patches. You see my pores a little bit on my cheeks, but it's not as bad as it could be. I'm pretty happy with this for what it is. I think that for a powder foundation and my dry Sahara Desert skin, this works so, so well. I'm really impressed. I'm really happy. I think it's really easy to use. It's like a one and done type thing. Like you just put it on, you're out the door and that's it. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing too much. It doesn't feel heavy at all. But yeah, that completes this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so, so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Welcome to another new Makeup Monday for today. <clears throat> Welcome to another new Makeup Monday for... It says, did you know... Did you know Rihanna loves, did you know Rihanna loves plur, oh my gosh. <laughs>